Ayun, so i-chart na natin yung inyong mga stock request. So, start tayo with AC. Ayan. So, si AC, tignan natin. AC, medyo kakaiba talaga yung movement nito ni AC. Hindi masyadong parang unpredictable. No? Hindi maganda yung movement. Okay. Pero... So normally, ito yung kanyang support. Ito, parang overdone. No? Parang overdone yung bentahan dyan. So, ito talaga yung uh, malinis na support area. Okay? So, wala tayong makita ka... Okay. Buuin na natin yung line. Ayan. So, yun. Okay, so dito, nandun yung kanyang ka-confluence na support. Okay, so meron na pala doon. And uh, kung bearish tayo kay PSE this week, sabi natin pwedeng mag-test ng support. 5.7. So pwede yan bumaba dito. Okay? So dapat mag-hold yan dyan. Pag hindi, 5.4. So at 5.4 baka dito yan. 5.30. Okay? Pero for this week dito muna, natin babantayan. Okay? Uh, hindi tayo bullish, no? Pero pwede mag-bounce. No? Since hindi pa naman ito natitest, so I think this area is strong. Kasi dito first time, hindi umabot eh. Nag-bounce ka agad. Sabihin, maraming may base dito na nag-defend. No? Pero next time na mag-touch yan dyan, so magkakaalaman na kung kayang i-defend or babas na agad. No? Pag ito nag-bounce, dito lang ulit. Diyan lang. Pwede naman dito rin. Pero masyadong mataas yun. Anyway, check natin. 5-9%. I think it's lower low. No? For me personally, no? I think it's lower low. Na pag tinest to, is baka bumigay. And next drop is ito talaga. Okay? Lamang-lamang. And then next bounce is ganun. So that's 10%. Kasi nag-high na eh. May isang high ka na dito. Ayan. And mukhang yan na yung magiging movement niya for now. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Kung next time na mag-test is diretso doon. Okay? Um, oversold. So, nasa oversold region. No? Mataas ang, ano, taas ang ADX. So, may bentahan pa. Net foreign selling. Tuloy-tuloy. Isang beses lang nag-positive dito. So, weak pa. No? Wala pang demand. AC, hindi mm, naman nagbago. Okay, yun pa rin naman. Walang nagbago sa fundamentals. No? Still undervalued. Pero pag nag-derate, uh, baka mag-stay siya dyan. Or baka, baka mas lower pa. No? Pero at least at this level, cheap na yan. Ang tanong, eh, cheap at the current earnings. Pero how about the future earnings? So, baka may mas lower pa. No? Pero... At 23, tapos 11, currently is 12. Siguro mga 10 times. No? Pag nag-10 times yan, baka may chance yan. So, at the current level, I think, dito 10 times yan. Okay. So, yun, AC. So, next is SM. SM, ayun, uh, butas doon nag-test so, sa area na yun. Okay. SM, yun, puro net foreign selling. Uh, dito yan, mag-test nga yung linggo sa area na ito. Yan. So, hopefully, ma-hold niya yung 6, yung 7, 820. Otherwise, ang next move niya ay sa ilalim na. No? Dito na. 670. Yun. Tingnan natin yung 670 area na yan. Eh, meron din naman doon talaga. Part na yun. Pero kung full number, 700, pwede nang i-consider. No? Tingnan natin. Pero ang layo na nun eh. Tingnan nga natin dito. Hindi naman siya nag-respect doon. Pero doon nag-stay ng konti. Okay. Okay. Pwede. Um, sabihin na lang natin na whole number 700. Pero dapat, ma-hold yan. Ayun, lapit na pala, oh, 720. Nag-touch na pala yun doon. So, yun na nga yung 700. So, the next time na mag-touch yan dyan, baka weak na. 
kasi na-touch na eh. So, ito na talaga ang next niyan. Okay? Pababa rin naman talaga yung kanyang trend. Okay? May trend naman siya dito. So, most likely talagang pwedeng tumama dun, no? Masyado na malayo. Okay? Pero, kung mag-hold si 5.7, then mag-hold yan. Okay? Pag hindi nag-hold si 5.7, And then 5.4, then see you sa 6.70. To be safe, uh, well, depende sa CPI ni US, no? Pwede mag-range. Pag nag-hold naman dito, eh, di, yan ulit ang resistance. Pero I don't think it will go sideways. I think it will uh, create lower low. And higher low. Or lower high. Depende sa, depende nga sa data. For the meantime. Pero in the near, in the long term, it's, still downtrend. SM, okay pa rin, goods pa rin. SM, cheap na ito ah. Tapos sa forward, cheap na din. Okay. Uh, 27, 15 times, grabe, sobrang cheap na nila. No? Sobrang mura na nila. Dami pang buy. Pero, alam nyo kasi ito is coming from the local, no? Local institution data. So, this will all be revised pagdating ng Q3. So, I don't think na you can rely too much using this current. Okay? So, dapat forward yung gamitin. Even though the forward, dapat i-derate pa ito. Though, maingi yung derating sa global. Nag-start na. So, this week, hanggang next three months, paglabas ng earnings, malamang lahat yan, i-slash ang earnings forecast. And for sure, may derating pa yan. So, baka mukhang cheap yan, pero... Baka may imumura pa yan. No? So, wag mo nang bumili. Baka tayo ang mapamura pag napabili ka ng maaga. Okay? SM. SMPH. Anyway, before we continue, I would like to announce na uh, open na ulit ang ating advanced fundamental trading course. So, since sobrang bearish ang market and halos nakakainip na wala kang magawa, eh, this is the best time to equip yourself. No? Sabi nga natin ay is uh, keep your powders dry. Pero keep your eyes wide open kasi anytime pwede mag-recover yan. The question is how to know if it will recover na no, kapag may sign na. So actually, ito yun. Yung mga macroeconomics, index forecasting, and reading the financial statement ratios and valuation. You know, bottom picking sakto yan. Yan talaga yung, actually yan yung mga reason kung bakit before pa lang sinabi na natin na at 6,000 pag nabasag, we will clear our portfolio. Sinabi ko yun, alam niyo ng mga nasa Discord. And that's the reason. Kasi nag-deteriorate yung, ano, yung mga data in terms of macroeconomics. And then, sa forecasting, nakikita natin na it's really not good sign. No? Sabi natin, mapapasag ang 6,000. If only there's a change in narrative and change in economic data. Even, wala pa. Sa forecast pa lang, mapapasag ang 6,000. So that's why, uh, even without reason, na lumalabas na bagong data. Kinat natin sa 6,000. So, ngayon, 6,000 is now acting as uh, heavy resistance. No? Hindi na ma-break break yan. Pero pwede naman yun hanggang 6,000 kaya lang if may changes sa narrative. So, yun lang. Um, this is the best time to equip yourself. No? Imagine you're cutting your losses. Pero, ito, you're equipping yourself. No? Mas malaki pa yung cut loss nyo dito. For sure. No? Isang cut loss mo, sobrang laki. Pero ito, at a smaller price, no? under kahit nga regular price, cheap pa rin yan compared to uh, doon sa mga nagiging losses natin during bear market. No? So, yun. Um, hope to see you sa ating uh, advanced fundamental trading course. mag start na yan ng uh, October 23. Yun. Every Sunday yan. 5 to 7.30 p.m. So, yun lang. And tuloy na tayo. SMPH. Basag na si SMPH. Oh. Itong line na to hindi niya na na-defend. Dapat, strong yon 32. Since basag si 32, kita nyo, doon na nag-support si resistance na. Si 32 na yung resistance niya. So, mahirap na yan. Uh, I don't think na may hawak pa dapat kayo niyan. No? It's not ideal na may hawak ka pang mga heavyweights ngayon. Though, kung long-term ang plan, then ibang plan yun. Pero in the short-term traders, ah, wala yun. No? Cut yan. Dito, cut na yan. 56. Ayan nga yung ating plan. No? You buy at 
around yan around MA200 sagad hanggang 36 cuts sa 30 5.8 o yun at ka na dun. kasi kung hindi yun know, loss lang 2% eh ngayon kung hindi mo kinat yan 17.12 laking damage nyan though SMPH naman yan in the long term babalik yan how long yun lang you know puro net foreign selling so oh, pas na ako dyan no? pwedeng mag touch nag touch na nga pwedeng mag retest pag hindi you can go slow as here 27.50 so I think at this level may bounce yan so, lower low talaga ang movement you know strong support ito wala namang strong support dito Ayan, dun sa level na yun. Saka dito. Dito mayroong konti. Kasi dun nga siya nagkonti. Pero again, sabi natin, lower low kasi ang gagawin eh. Di ba? Bearish tayo eh. So, pag touch dyan, kailangan ng lower low. Depende. Pag maganda si CPI, range dito. Pag hindi maganda, o di lower low. Eh, data lang yun. May di rating pa. So, mas lamang yung lower low. Tapos taas ng gas. Tapos, Uh, dollar taas din talo talaga Ali patience lang guys patience lang hindi no? kailangan laging may hawak ang kailangan mo is sakto sa bottom or sa sweet spot hindi sabi na sweet spot kapag nag bottom out na and sure nang ubus na yung negative sentiment and nag-return na sa positive. So, that's the time na pwede tayong mag aggressive. For now, it's not the time to be aggressive. So, yun o, uptrend, binasag, nag-attempt for fair market rally, tawag dyan. Ito naman is relief rally. Ang liit ng relief rally nyo. Yun lang, kapiranggot lang. Anyway, ito yung support mo. Dapat ma-hold to. Pag hindi yan na-hold, yun, jackpot. Eto na, 19. Yun naman talaga, wala na, oh. buong-buo yun eh. So, 19 pesos to. Natin sa dulo. Sa dulo, o oh, yun, 19 to 18. Yan, yan talaga ang strong... Support level eh, that's 2012. Grabe. Pero hindi imposible yan. Hindi imposible matouch. Kita nyo yung volume ng selling, kita nyo yung volume ng buying. Alam na yan, no? Mga students, alam na yan. Students sa TA, so don't dare. <laughs> okay. Dito, pag nag-test at nag-fail, dito. For sure yan. Tapos isang ganun. Or pwedeng ganun. Okay. Wala pa eh. Or pwede naman dito. Kung makita mo nagkaroon ng tao dito. Okay. Pwede naman dito. Pero at the current data. Well, di pa naman. No? Nag-expect pa lang tayo ng data na negative. So, in-expect natin negative yun. Pag negative, basag. Pag positive, range. Yan. So, at least tinatemper natin yung expectation na huwag masyadong bullish. Pero okay din yan. Sa may hawak, kung long term, eh wala na long term ka na talaga dyan. Pero kung ang loss mo is 5-3%, then you can cut that. No? Tapos pwedeng bumalik pag okay na. Ali. Si Ali. Mm -hmm. 20. Medyo fair devalued. Doon undervalued na, pero mataas pa eh. Mataas pa rin. Kung hindi direct to, around 15 times to. I think lang, no? I think lang. Mga 15 times. But at least, kinat mo ng 25% yung kanyang uh, FS or yung kanyang valuation. So, compute nyo na lang kung saan ang 25. Ako, tansya lang sa chart. Dito yan. 18 to 20. Alin dyan? Sa dalawa. Okay. Okay. So yun, tapos na pala tayo sa part 1. Actually, apat-apat lang. So later on, part 2 naman. So yun, thanks for watching. And kung gusto nyo yung sumali sa mentoring, nandyan lang. Announce na natin. Yeah. And mamaya, see you sa part 2.
Hello guys, welcome sa Hybrid Analytics YouTube channel. In this channel, we are uh, making a lot of review every week ng mga stock request, no? Galing sa ating Facebook group. And then, pakasubscribe natin, i-click natin yung bell, tapos select natin yung all para may notifications kayo every time na nag-update tayo or nagpo-post tayo sa community. Okay, so dito sa community, meron tayong mga ilang announcement, mga as in the community ng lahat ng nag-subscribe. And then, if you want to learn more about stock market, just check our playlist. And then, ayan, nandito yung ating mga stock market learning resources. Meron din tayo dyang uh, free webinar series, 17 videos, no? Yung isa is 19 videos. We also have here a join button. So, if you want to unlock yung mga video na for members only. Anyway, uh, if you want to uh, vote dito sa ating mga stock requests, yung chinachart natin every week. So, just uh, join our Facebook group, Philippine Stock Market Analytics. Okay? So, join lang kayo dito para makapag-vote kayo dito sa ating poll na chinachart naman natin every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? Last dito rin tayo nag-poll uh, para sa live charting every Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay? So, join lang kayo dito. Uh, Philippine Stock Market Analytics, TFT Institute. Enjoy watching guys and thank you for supporting our channel.